What's going on, everybody? Well, it is Wednesday. I didn't think what day of the week it was there for a minute. But ESPN, I believe this is uh, one of their senior NFL insiders, Adam uh, Schefter, is reported this morning around, I think it was around 8, oh wait, it's on here, 7, 16 a.m. NFL Players Association is leaving Panini and signing a 20-year trading card deal with Fanatics starting in 2026 per sources. And also, the NFLPA is now joining both the Major League Baseball and the Players Association, NBA, NBA Players Association, and New Fanatics Trading Card Company. All parties will have equity stakes in the new venture. Kind of crazy. Let me pull this up to show you guys. Now, he started this a while back with him. He, I think he hit the Major League No, somebody else hit the Major League Baseball one. But this has been talked about for most of the day today. Um, I haven't found it anywhere else, to be honest. I'm sure it'll be popping up other places. But that's huge. 20 years. I mean, normally they've been doing them, what, for 5, maybe 10 years? I mean, 20 years is a long time to have a deal with a company that's brand new. You're putting a lot of trust in Fanatics. Um, wow, I mean, kudos for Fanatics for locking it up that long. Now, we have three of the cut big ones out. I am thinking Fanatics is probably going to try to stay away from soccer and hockey just so they don't look like they're doing a monopoly out there. But realistically, you just took three of the biggest sports out. Now, Grand Soccer's big worldwide, but you took out three big ones there. It'll be interesting to see what happens here um, in the coming years to come on. Will Toss be bought out? Will Panini be bought out? Are they just going to lease their licenses to other companies? Or are they just going to go all out on their own and say, hey, we're making our own cards up? My big thing is I hope they don't overproduce the stuff, and I have a bad feeling it is. I started thinking today while I was at work uh, doing these training videos, and I'm really kind of worried that Topps and Panini are going to overproduce everything until their time out to maximize profits because right now there's a lot lost. I mean, you got to think, uh, Topps lost their them going uh, public with that company. I forget, it begins with them, uh, Muddick or something like that. And then Panini was talking about doing all kinds of different things. You had people that were trying to invest into Panini along with uh, some. There was another group that was talking about going in with Tops too. Wow, this is a huge game changer. Um, and I, my fear is like two different ways they're going with this. And we already covered the other stuff uh, with the NBA. But I'm really worried that Tops is going to start overproducing stuff because now their value is probably decreased immensely. At the same time, so is Panini, and they got to make that money. You know, I, I really feel bad for everybody that's working for Tops and Panini, too. I know I got your customer service sucks and all that stuff out there. I, I hear it across the board on it. But there's going to be a lot of people might be without jobs here coming up, too. I mean, it depends on what they really do. I mean, Top still does have soccer. Panini still has soccer. You still have um, Panini and UFC. Uh, I'm trying to think here. There was another thing with Toss besides soccer because I was just talking about not too long ago. Hmm. Just not hitting me, not hitting me. I mean, they still got some oddball things that they, you know, I shouldn't say oddball, but some um, other things that they can still do on the outside. Oh, F1. F1 is another one out there. I mean, you still got a lot of different types of racing that Panini does out there, too. But the three probably biggest markets out there are now owned underneath one company. All right, everybody. I figured I'd just put this out real quick because I haven't seen anywhere else. Let me know if you guys have seen or heard anything on it because it's 20-year deal is just huge. But uh, let me know what you guys think. I mean, if so, they secured the biggest three out there now.
All right, everybody, take care. I'll see you live with Joey on Friday night. We'll be hitting all this stuff up. I mean, crazy stuff been going on over the past week, and we'll be talking pretty much about it. I'm pretty sure the majority of it's going to be about the slabs um, out there, and then, you know, this huge uh, thing with fanatics. All right, everybody, take care. Have a good rest of the week. I'll catch you all later.